Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today Game Maker Studio 2.2.0 was released, and I'm guessing you can't guess what the major feature was. Hmm? Alright, yeah, Nintendo Switch support. It was announced a while back, it's finally here. Now, if you've never heard of it, uh, Game Maker Studio is probably the longest running 2D commercial game engine out there. It's been used to make a number of popular uh, 2D graphic uh, game titles you've definitely heard of from indie development world. Night Dog, um, Hotline Miami, uh... Hyper Light Drifter, Undertale. There's a ton of commercially successful indie titles that were made using Game Maker Studio. Heck, between Game Maker Studio and Mono Game, I bet you 75% of the commercially successful 2D titles out there were made with one of those two game engines. So it is definitely very, very relevant. And the reality is there are a lot of people out there that want to develop for the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo kind of accidentally created the next big indie platform. And unfortunately, what I'd love to see from Nintendo is some Something like uh, PlayStation Mobile or X and I would love for them to embrace indies and let us homebrew for their platform. But Nintendo understands their developer community about as well as I understand nuclear physics. They are just outright stupid. They're successful in spite of themselves. So I have no great expectations from Nintendo anytime soon. Just like I never expect them to be good at online. They just don't get certain things. And indie development just seems to be one of those. Now, thankfully, uh, the smallest tier, so people that can afford the price tag to get in and develop for uh, the Switch are definitely moving towards the Switch. So you're seeing a ton of indie games come out on that platform. It is the new PlayStation Portable, if you will. And Game Maker Studio is one of the best ways to get your game there. Now, by no means is it free, and we'll get back to that in a second. But let's first talk about the 2.2.0 release. And we're not going to set the world on fire, as I mentioned with this release. In fact, outside of our uh, is the full release of our new Nintendo Switch module, and there's already some Game Maker Studios titles up on the Switch store. Uh, the extent of the rest of this guy is pretty boring. Uh, further changes include preferences to automatically log users out when the IDE closes, uh, audio fixes, we changed how the Android NDK build process works, specifically Android API 23 on NDK 17B. Yeah, that's pretty boring. Uh, they broke down into two sets of release notes. We have a set of release notes for the studio or the actual IDE part of things and for the underlying platform. But again, it's mostly bug fixes at this point in time. There's, there's not a whole lot in this particular release outside of Game Maker Studio um, details. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit about Game Maker itself, hey, I've got you covered. I've done a full closer look at for Game Maker Studio 2 shortly after release. And if you've used a previous version of Game Maker Studio, you probably want to check it out again. Game Maker Studio 2 is a very impressive evolution. The IDE has been completely redone, and there's a reason why so many commercial games are being successfully created using Game Maker Studio. So if you are interested in learning more, check out the uh, closer look. I will link it as well as the link to the uh, release announcement down below. So if you want an idea of what tools, what the workflow is like inside of Game Maker Studio, I've got you covered. Now, Game Maker Studio is a commercial project. You're looking at $99 for the base package, and then you're looking at an additional cost for the module. So the add-on for Nintendo Switch is a commercial add-on, similar to their Xbox One and PlayStation add-ons. And when we're looking at price, well, let's do that. Uh, you will see over here it is $799 US per year. So this is not an indie homebrew option unless you happen to be a very rich indie homebrewer. Uh, but if you are looking to create a game, if you've got a game that you think you could commercially ship on the Nintendo Switch store that will actually make it to the store, 800 bucks is nothing. If you're looking as a hobbyist that wants to make games for your own Nintendo Switch, you hear that, that ain't gonna work. Now, I would love to see Game Maker come out with a... Um, indie version or a hobbyist version, a non-commercial version, but I got a feeling that Nintendo may actually block that. So I, I don't know how the dev experience works for um, deploying to your own personal Switch, or if you need the $500 or $600 development kit version, which I imagine you actually do. So on top of this $800 module price, do be aware you also need to enroll in the Nintendo Switch developer program. Now I did this actually, and it's completely free, and it's fairly seamless to do so, but when I did this, when and then the whole Game Maker beta was first announced for Nintendo Switch, uh, there was no details on the Nintendo Switch. You signed up and you got all kinds of developer information on the Wii and uh, the NDS, and that was it. So hopefully that's been rectified since. I haven't bothered to go back. Like I said, um, Nintendo gets developer relations as well as I get, I don't know, farming. I, and I know nothing about farming other than dirt, vegetables, grow, eat, 
So that's about how well they understand indie developers. Hopefully it changes. Uh, Nintendo has an excellent opportunity in front of them. They could be the next Microsoft XNA. They have the device that everyone is interested in working with. They have a huge community that want to homebrew on this thing. Let's see that that happens. But that really isn't what this release is all about. This is more for serious developers trying to seriously support their serious game over to the serious store. Uh, yeah. So that's about it. That is Game Maker Studio 2.2.0 being released. And again, 99% of that is all about this Switch module that's now available for $800. So let me know, are you a Game Maker developer? Are you a Nintendo Switch developer? Or would you like to be both, but the cost just puts you off? Let me know, comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.